Every single one of us has woken up today with less rights than we had yesterday. Pregnant people in particular are in more danger in the United States uh, today than we were yesterday as a result of the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. I think what we're experiencing here, it's important to tell the truth of what's going on. And with so many individuals out here, I think it's important for us to also tackle this myth that this is somehow about babies or children or life. Because the same individuals who purport, claim to be protecting life, fight against universal health care. Do they believe in universal child care? Do they believe in life after birth? From their policy positions, I assure you, the evidence is lacking. A life that claims to be protecting the lives of children, or rather a, a party and individuals who claim to protect the lives of children just weeks after over a dozen children died in Texas, now claim to support their life, the lives of the young. Who are we protecting? Who does this protect? No one. Overturning Roe puts every single one of us in danger. And what I think many of our colleagues perhaps haven't quite, or perhaps they have fully understood, is that this also undermines the right to privacy in the United States of America. But we are here to solve this issue. Our job is to develop a path forward. And in that, we know that this House has passed and is willing to codify Roe. But what we also need is answers from our colleagues in the United States Senate. So to those senators who voted for these justices under the claim and the guise that this would not happen, this decision falls on them. What will they do as they were lied to? What will they do as a consequence of this decision, whether that be Republican or Democrat? But we cannot allow this to go on unanswered. We are talking about a court of, with the majority of justices appointed by a party that has not won a popular presidential election more than once in 30 years, ruling against the majority of Americans. We have a Senate that is controlled by minority rule, and we have a House suffering from the impacts of gerrymandering that amplifies and undermines our democracy. We are in a very dangerous moment, not just for women, not just for LGBT communities, not just for all of us, but we are in a dangerous moment in the world because this is not just about the right to choice. This is about rule of law and democracy and who is a full person in the eyes of the law. But to all of those who are watching today's events unfold in fear, in anger, in rage, in depression, in anxiety, one thing remains steady that we will not stop fighting until this is fixed. And I say that to my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, we are not going away. We stay, we fight, we push, and we will not be silenced.